Welcome to the Underworld. Courtesy of Aglulit director Zacharias Kunuk, the award-winning director turned his eye to animation for this, The Shaman's Apprentice. The animated film has been nominated for the Canadian Screen Award for Best Animated Short. This foray into animation also had Kunuk on a short list for the Academy Award for Best Animated Short. And because we're always trying new ways of doing things, and we, th we thought maybe this one is a lot easier than real actors acting it out. Kunuk has a long record of working with live action actors as well. If you've seen Atanarjwat, The Fast Runner, which was the first feature film performed entirely in Inuktitut, you probably haven't forgotten it. And not just because of the naked chase scene on the sea ice. For Kunuk, the key thing is getting details right. Because if you're going to share your culture, you want to be sure about it. All the costume I had to uh, draw out and approve, and sometimes they would make the hood wrong, and I have to correct that. And on the end, um, of course, they never seen dog teaming, so uh, there's a scene where there's a dog team, and all the harness have to be right. And I had to show these that sled have to be our style. So yeah, I did a lot of uh, mentoring, I guess. And matching the clothing is one thing. Trying to express Inuit spiritual beliefs and shamanism on screen is another. This scene right here gave Kunuk some trouble. He explains why. Uh, I was stuck in one, one scene uh, where they're, they're going to the underworld and they have to climb down. And I thought, hey, wait, climb down? Uh, climb down ladders nowadays. But uh, in those days, there was no such thing as a ladder. And then, then I thought uh, maybe human bone ladder. Uh, <laughs> not couldn't be. So, so I, as an elder, and this elder started laughing at me right away. And, a, she, and she asked me, how do you climb down a hill? Oh, OK, I got it. <laughs> The film has already won Best Short Film at the Toronto International Film Festival, and the filmmakers find out if they got the Canadian Screen Award to go with it on April 11th. For, for now, we wait for Kunuk's next work. Whether that takes us out to the sea ice or back into the underworld, has live actors or animation, one thing's certain. It will be as accurate to Inuit life as Kunuk can make it. Kent Driscoll, APTN National News, Akhalawit.